okay on C and again these are our exponents this uh, this is e to the y power every time we have this it should be e to the y and this one was exact it's written as an exact ODE uh, and when you have an exact ODE you can start by working either from from here or you can start from here by integrating and your goal is to construct a function of x and y that'll make this true. If I start from this left side, if I let my function of x and y equal the integral of y e to the y dx, then I can, when you integrate this with respect to x you want to consider all these y terms as constants and so when you integrate you're going to get just x times that constant y e to the y plus your constant of integration now your constant of integration might also be a function of y okay so Here's what our solution is going to look like, but we may have a function of y added on. And so uh, to determine that function of y, we're going to take the derivative of f with respect to y and set it equal to the, the other argument in our equation. So we're going to take our derivative. These are partial derivatives because we're taking derivatives with respect to only one variable partial derivative of y of f with respect to y erase that now here we're taking the derivative of x y e to the y plus g of y and and on here I've got a product of uh, two functions of y. So I'm going to take the derivative of this xy with respect to y is x. That gets multiplied by e to the y plus xy times the derivative of e to the y with respect to y is e to the y. On this g of y the derivative is just g prime of y. Now, this should be equal to the other argument in the equation. That should be equal to x e to the y plus x y e to the y. And notice here, and, and actually any terms that contain x should cancel out. So notice this x e to the y cancels on both sides. And x y e to the y cancels out to leave you with g prime of y that's a g. g prime of y is equal to zero. And if g prime of y is equal to zero you can integrate with respect to y and you get g of y is just a constant. So our solution is going to be f of xy which is xy e to the y plus g of y, where g of y is a, a constant, equals zero. Now, if you can solve for y, you want to do it uh, here, because I've got y as a polynomial multiplied by an exponential that contains y, it's really not possible to solve for y. And so I'll leave your answer like this.
ਕਰਕੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ 